Just before 1.30 this afternoon, the governor signed that emergency declaration, citing serious violations of state and federal law by the Holmes County Consolidated School District. He says he agrees with the Commission on School Accreditation and the State Board of Education's assessment that there are also problems with the district's accreditation. There are serious financial concerns, he says, a lack of oversight by the district school board and continued poor academic performance. Governor Reeves said that this is not a decision he takes lightly or made with any delight. Well, now the school district, board of trustees, and his home superintendent, Deborah Powell, fi filed an emergency temporary restraining order in an attempt to stop the process before the governor made his decision. In that filing, the district said that they didn't receive a fair and impartial hearing, and they also argue that the governor's move is unconstitutional. And in an emergency petition for injunctive relief, the district alleges that the Department of Education, the State Board of Education, and others violated their own policies and procedures while conducting sham proceedings in their recommendations to the governor. The Holmes County District has about 2,500 students. So you might be thinking, what happens next? Well, under the governor's state of emergency, the current school board will be dissolved and the State Department of Education will appoint Dr. Jennifer Wilson as the interim superintendent.